Brian. <laughs> Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Warrior Spotlight. Oh, you got some, what's that looking up there, Ellie? I can't see. Mm. I can't see anything else. Anyways, welcome to Warrior Spotlight. It's Wednesday night. Uh, stories are real, the emotions are raw, and the hearts are courageous. Um, so excited to be here tonight. Again, we are really working toward a better production scene. <laughs> <laughs> um, with all that has been happening in the world, um, Andy, our producer, is still in Washington, D.C. So he might come home sometime. I'm not sure. But anyways, we have uh, my co-host tonight, always my husband, Billy Paxton. Good evening. Um, we have B.J. Duckworth, uh, executive director from the Toledo YMCA. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then... promotion. <laughs> And then we have uh, Jason Graven from Task Force 20, the um, director of that. So we want to start with a little bit of highlights of what um, some amazing things that have been able to happen this week so far. Um, we have posted a lot of it uh, out there on social media, but did you guys see the 13 ABC clip with the kids? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Very impressive. Amazing, right? So never in a million years would we thought we'd get that program up and off the ground. But so 1380C came out on Monday. Um, thank you, Lisa Guyton. She is such a huge supporter of ours. And she came out on Monday and she did a session or videotaped a session with the kids and talked to uh, one of the mothers, um, one of the kids, and uh, one of the ladies who was developing this program. And amazing, amazing program. And so she gave us some good um, uh, highlights out in the community for that. So that's always nice, right, when we get those plugs. Um, what else do we want to cover? 1380C. Oh, the new came out. Yep. We're gonna you kicked us out before yeah. the news crew got here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you were out first. So, yeah, get the um, lie out of here. Yeah, I, I don't want to tell all the details of that because some are still in the works of what we're doing. But um, BJ brought out a couple amazing ladies, a uh, couple executive directors from different positions within the YMCA. Yep. And um, we went yesterday, Joel and I went yesterday and toured the Y. Okay. And so we got a tour. And uh, what it is was that? the Y on Dean Road. Oh yeah, Great. yeah. I, did my, yeah. I did my uh, therapy up there in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice place. And so we went and we got a tour and some amazing things that you guys are offering us. I'm just absolutely speechless and awe drop. So we do our monthly family dinners and there's gonna be space availability where we can go in um, as a little blessings group and have the facility, right? We can let the family swim or we can do a yoga in there and there'll be daycare and like I'm just blown away. Thank you so much. They haven't even let me go down the water slide yet. <laughs> <laughs> the pool is pretty we'll great. That, and, we'll see that you get to Yeah, it. and the yeah, place center is amazing. Have a lot of first as executive. Yeah. 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 So parents you're gonna be so excited about that piece when we get it um, when we get um, going with that. Um, we also had that same day uh, we had a lot going on. We invited out uh, Toledo police officers, uh, Bedford Fire Department, and the North County Sheriff's uh, Department to come out and do a photo shoot and engage in what we're doing and kind of do like a small sample of what we're doing. And we are putting together the flyer for the first responders um, because right. we want to be able to assist them and that's our, our next move forward is with the first responders. So they were amazing. Um, they. We put them through a little task of what they were doing with the horses, so they got to engage with the horses, um, and it was pretty cool. So thank you, uh, Toledo Police Department, Bedford Fire Department, and North County Sheriff. We appreciate that. Okay, super excited about this one. Not that I'm not excited about everything, right? I think I did always say, mm -hmm. but this is my first big check. Where is it, honey? It's right here. <laughs> it's scared. It's so yeah, big you can't pick it up. This is our first big check. Sorry, I'm going to put it in front of you, DJ. We're so excited. Woo! So we were. Um, How much is that? I'm going to tell them right now, honey. Put it up front here. Let's get it back up here. Okay, hold on. Thinking. We're going to come up front. Ready? It's your, it's your show, DJ. Home Depot, $3,000. Yay! <laughs> um, so we were uh, given $3,000 from three different locations. $1,000 to each location, 3000 over. The three locations. And so I want to give a shout out to Jason Telder, um, Alberto Salazar, and Scott uh, Phelps for uh, putting that together. So at the end of the year, they had an opportunity to give 
each store gave a thousand dollars to an organization and all three of them showed up for the blessings. Nice. Awesome. So um, we are giving Home Depot a shout out. Thank you so much for your support. We greatly appreciate that and I'm super excited about the big check. <laughs> the big checks are really nice. The big check. As we know, we're, our guests are in there. So we need to kind of concentrate on directing ourselves towards the camera, I'm just saying. Okay, okay. did somebody give you that feedback? No, I know, oh, but okay. there is feedback there. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I'm just saying, I know we can, we're, gonna, we're gonna establish all that once we get it set up, too. I feel like the had something, yeah. Different camera, yeah. Right. camera angle, see that. Right. Right. <laughs> all that. Amateur, amateurs. Yeah, yeah. all yeah. amateurs. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about last Saturday. Last Saturday was super, super yes. cool, right? Yes. And so, um, within our local, um, our local area, both on the Ohio side and the Michigan side, um, we have all sorts of veteran organizations that do amazing things, right? Mm -hmm. And um, we, there's always been this disconnect for some reason, and I'm not sure why there's been a disconnect, but so um, I invited all of you out to the farm, and we had um, 10 different organizations there, which was absolutely incredible. We had um, Jennifer from Habitat Monroe, Task Force 20. We had VFW from Erie and Lambertville. We had the Bedford Veterans Center. We had the AMVETS. We had the DMV, or the DAV. And then we had John, he was, uh, he's a veteran and he's with North Coast Mutual. And then, of course, we were there. But um, the collaboration that we are trying to do as a group, I mean, we could have probably talked for four hours, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm, I bet. Yeah. 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 It, was, it was crazy. Because we're in, everybody had to bring to the table what they had to offer, yes. you know, what was their solid that they sure. bring to the table, right. right? So if we're duplicating it, we can kind of streamline that, right, and make it more efficient sure. for our veterans. Mm -hmm. No sense in doing what you do. Right, and and within as soon as somebody got talking, they would say, "Oh, I wish I would have known about you. I yeah. didn't know as close as they are. I wish I would have known about you." Exactly. Or, I'm break. I need to talk to you, and it was like so mm -hmm. cool, right? Yeah. So many connections. You mean Jason let somebody else talk? <laughs> he, he was limited on his time. <laughs> yes, I, I was threatened with things being thrown at. That's so. factual. I think I did say yes, that. Yes, <laughs> um, But it was an absolutely incredible um, afternoon. We spent two hours, and um, during the meeting, somebody had thrown out, "Hey, are we going to do this on a regular basis?" Right? <laughs> Yay! That right. made my heart so happy. Yeah. So um, we are calling it the veteran community. I think I had said collaboration, but it'll be coalition. I think okay. it makes more yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. um, so the Veteran Community more Coalition, right? Specific. Taking care of veterans, using the committee, and coming together, right? And so, oh, and I can't see you. In I gotcha. Yeah. I'm reading. But I can't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, but amazing group of people doing amazing things, and we can really, you know, help each other doing that. So, and we have more people we're adding on to that. So that's Bill Betts wants to be a part of that. Um, Monroe County, uh, Monroe Military Families in Monroe County. Talked to them today. They're going to be at our next meeting. Awesome. Um, and then uh, Joel invited out his post. His post is, I want to make sure I get this right real quick, 2898. That's on Alexis Road. And so um, we brought them out there so we could kind of show them around of what we do at the farm, right, in a big picture. So this way they can let their veterans know at the VFW what we do. Perfect. Um, but we really invited them out there so they could learn about the coalition and how we're working together to see if they wanted to be part of it. And it was super cool. Um, the commander, and I apologize, I can't remember your name, uh, but the commander there, he was talking about their youth group there, right? Yep. I and that. and one of the things that they're um, one of the things that we're going to be doing with our kids program is that they have to do their own fundraising for the next group. Right? I love that. And so, because it, it's a community piece yeah. that they have to do, right? But they, the um, VFW Post 2898 already has this amazing organization structured with young, with youth, right? Yep. And so we're going to, well, I don't know that we are yet, but I certainly would like to, to couple up with them and have them mentor our younger kids, right? And so that would be, and this is how we're using those resources, which is amazing, right? Perfect. Exactly. Okay. That is a lot to cover. Yes. Busy but week. I did it quick. Yeah, ten minutes. I'm trying to get through it. Okay, so the reason that we have you two guys on the, the show, um, we're gonna do an overview. I'm gonna let each one of you state what you do, right? So mm -hmm. any new viewers hopping on there kind of have an idea, <clears throat> and then um, we'll come in with a little follow up. So go ahead, Jason. Oh, you want me to start? That's, that's great. <laughs> Just set the timer <laughs> for like uh, <laughs> I got, I got 7:59. So I, I do. So, I got 
Uh, Task Force 20. Um, we fund and promote physical fitness as a healthy alternative in addressing symptoms of PTSD and depression in, you know, veterans. Uh, you know, we, we found a direct correlation, and there's scientific studies that show a direct correlation between physical fitness and mental health. And about four years ago when we started, um, we felt that this was an underrepresented um, opportunity. Mm -hmm. So we set out to kind of relieve the financial burden of a healthy and active lifestyle. And a lot of it had to do with my own personal experience, which I won't go into, um, you know, for fear of being here all night. But <laughs> They can just follow up on that other part. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> just send me a message. Yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. deal with that later. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, the scientific studies show that a healthy and active lifestyle um, has a lot of mental benefits. And, you know, the, the suicide epidemic, while it hasn't gone away, it has gotten better, but it's still very prevalent. I think it's down to 18 veterans per day. Um, so a dent has been made, but it's still very real. Um, so we try to relieve the financial burden because most of the people that need our services are on fixed incomes, whether they're 100% disabled, whatever the case may be, we make it possible for them to get started down these roads. And uh, you're not breaking my line. Um, <laughs> yeah. that, okay. It's all about camera time. Yeah, I got you. Um, we, we make it possible for them to get started in their physical fitness journeys and see the benefits without having to jeopardize some of the more essential uh, expenditures they have in taking care of their families and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well, it relieves that responsibility, like you said, but also there's not that excuse. If they would use that as an excuse because it's not a high on their priority. Right. I can see that. Which you know, is great. Yeah, a healthy and active lifestyle isn't cheap. I mean, you've got no. gym memberships, you've got supplements. Just to eat, right? yeah. Just you know, people don't realize how just to eat clean, how expensive you're talking it is. Twice as expensive to eat yeah. healthy. Yeah. 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 You know. The one comedian would say, uh, you know, it's fat free, it's free. Why is it out of there? But meaning it's a joke, <laughs> it isn't. Right. It costs a lot more to eat clean. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so we try to step in and, like you said, remove that excuse. Right. You know, mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, the individual does have to get up off the couch and sure. go on their own, mm -hmm. but we're gonna cover the cost so that they can, they don't have to choose between, you know, do I pay my water right. bill versus the gym membership. And I think too, you know, I was just thinking, cause of like in uh, accountability, if we're workout buddies, you, uh, I'm not gonna, I can talk myself out of it, but I know you're gonna show up. Well, also I just got life with you paying for it. I'm gonna carry that, not guilt, but you know, Right. That, that accountability is is that, oh, I don't want to, you know, not that you're tracking me working out, but by the same token, I don't want to waste your money. I would see that that would help in that benefit to maybe Absolutely. keep people going. Unless it's coming back. Day. Pardon me? Unless it's leg day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a leg day. <laughs> uh, Absolutely. The, the camaraderie aspect mm -hmm. uh, to finding others in the gym atmosphere Absolutely. that have mm -hmm. those same goals and that same mm -hmm. mindset of yeah. a healthy and active lifestyle. Yeah. They draw you away from trying to find the bottom of the bottle, uh, mm -hmm. which even I uh, fell victim to. Mm -hmm. And you know, once I got engaged in the gym, um, you know, those trying to find the temporary methods of happiness, whether it be alcohol and drugs, whatever mm -hmm. the case may be, I found that I was able to fill those temporary methods of happiness with going to the gym. And sure, you know, has a releases the same chemicals. Yeah, absolutely, I was just gonna say that. People don't realize mm -hmm. chocolate, sex, working out, all that, it's the same endorphin. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, just, we just went to PG-13 real quick. <laughs> <laughs> There's no filter on No, here. I was gonna I say, say some of these, I, no, I've seen some of these. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can tell the different right. branches too. The Marines got them off on them. Yep. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do, are you a Marine? No, I love Army. Army, yeah. We're a little no, bit more filtered. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. The Marines, they don't give a fuck. Too. No, let me say, hey, you're right. They'll drop an F on I was all nervous and I was like, the one dude was like, rip, 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 rip. I'm like, okay, buddy. Exactly. I looked at her and she was like, you know what's so, um, no, and, I, and I, this is why I want this show to just be however it is, because it is. we're connecting with veterans, right? We're not right. connecting mm -hmm. with the civilian populace. We are like, thank you, thank you. They're, we're on the wrong channel. Right, yeah. Right? There is we're definitely, on the wrong channel. They're playing speaking on my language. She might not be happy. We do. No. I'm sure she's hard to order. Well, let's start putting a disclaimer. Maybe it'll be for me. We'll yeah. a disclaimer in the beginning, um, you know. 
But I have a friend on social media, and I um, follow him, and he's a veteran, and he is totally engaged in fitness. Good. And I love to see the posts on there, and you know, every day, you know, he's flexing or he's showing sweaty, but he's just talking about how good he feels working yep. out, right? Yep. And uh, I'm so proud of him. I think that is so amazing because it's definitely a different space than what he was a year ago. Yeah, it, it it's built yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 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 And, and as long as you flip that switch after like three weeks, if you're honest about it, you can literally see and feel the difference. The, the from my own personal experience, I'd see that. Right. But some people just the, iron, the ironic thing if you bring that up is studies show that most people give up in that third sure. week. I believe it. You see the results yep. in the fourth. Correct. So people are stopping right before they mm -hmm. start seeing the benefit of going on a day-to-day yep. -day basis. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm sure we'll get into, um, you know, our business model and why we feel it works. But, you know, DJ and I were talking beforehand um, about what we'll say. Okay, that sounds great. <laughs> I'm already taking Don't control do the spoiler. here. Don't spoiler. No, 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 it's your time. Yeah. It's your time. We yeah. want, they want to hear that, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. So yeah, uh, because of partnerships that we work out with YMCA, we're able to also partner the veteran many times with a personal trainer. Right. And what this does is, you know, they, they develop a quasi friendship mm -hmm. and that accountability and everything to get them to that fourth week mm -hmm. to see those um, changes start to happen, right. to keep them engaged and going. Yeah. And many times without, you know, the partnerships that we worked out, we don't have the money to also get the sure. uh, personal training. Sure. And mm -hmm. so they go in for a few weeks, they do what they know, mm -hmm. and a lot of times they, they don't expand outside of that, they get bored, yep. they don't continue on, mm -hmm. they drop off the map. So right. because of you know meeting BJ on a previous podcast, yep. we were able to work something out that it allows us to expand our benefits for the individual veterans that we yeah. And we, it's funny because we said that right afterwards. I thought Jenny had put you two together, and she didn't. And then after the fact, how, yes, you'll tell us now. It's your turn. Go ahead and tell us how you guys partnered up. Yep. I uh, totally agree. I thought, it's funny how God when works. I left so, here, it? When I left here, yeah. I said, she set this up. Yeah, right. I she know. purposely put us here together. But that's not the case. Yeah, that's no, not the no. case. That's no. what divine intervention is. Yeah. Here, right? Yeah. Because I had mentioned super fitness, and you said, "Oh, that's the enemy," or whatever. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Stop doing it on I the know. show. I, I know how. Uh, I know how you, yeah, how you uh, had said. Uh, Nap squirrel. Go ahead. <laughs> so, r real quick, who I am? I'm the executive director of membership at the YMC of Greater Toledo. You don't have to real quick. We're only twenty minutes in. Well, I want to talk about the important stuff, not who yeah. I am. But, yeah, no. Okay, um, which that's a fancy title for I support our ten locations. We have locations uh, as far south as Waterville, all the way to Adrian, Michigan. Mm -hmm. So I support the membership operations and member service and everything related to. Helping the folks that come in our doors is, is kind of my my forte. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to kind of touch on some of the things you were saying, uh, we just implemented a new program called Smart Start, which is really meant to take folks when they come in the door, sit them down with a wellness professional, and identify what is the real reason why they're there. Mm -hmm. They might come in and say, I'm here to lose 10 pounds, but why do they want to lose 10 pounds? Do they have diabetes? Do they have some other health condition that is forcing them to lose 10 pounds? Mm -hmm. Are they going through, you know, some sort of mental, you know, peace and the way they express it is I need to lose some weight. And this program is really meant to get to the root of what they want to do. Mm -hmm. Why do they want to lose that 10 pounds? A lot of our folks come to us and say, I need to lose 10 pounds because I can't keep up with my kids. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And once we know the real reason, mm -hmm. then we can set a smart goal with them sure. to get them there. Right. Only 7% of people that set a goal, any goal at all, sure. not just a fitness goal, only 7% of people that set a goal accomplish it. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a smart goal and it's written down. Yep. Interesting. And that's where it comes in where, where he said, if we can get people connected to a personal trainer mm -hmm. or in a rhythm mm -hmm. or into this, this free program, they set a smart goal and they write it down. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking about the SMA. RT, right? Yes. So explain that, because I knew you were talking about that, but some people... Yeah, so so really what, what a SMART goal is, 
is it, it's a goal that is specific. Um, alphabet measurable. struggled measurable. today, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Specific, measurable, actionable, that's it. R. Or D, yeah. Um, and and time-based. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a, a goal that you can actually accomplish. So if sure. your goal is to lose 50 pounds, yeah. your smart goal may only be to lose three pounds within your first 30 days. Correct. Mm -hmm. Got by to doing these actions. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. Um, I didn't know I was going to have to recite smart goals. Right. Right. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, but, 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 but think a little. Yeah, think a little. Yes. It's yeah. not just, it, that is key, right? Yes. In, you know, a lot of us deal with it in the world that we're in, in the business Correct. world, right? Because it sets very specific yep. goals, right? And they're measurable, and there's yep. a time on them. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's specific, not like, oh, I want to lose 10 pounds, and yep. time -based. okay, when, right? right? And so when you when you put those measurements and the mm -hmm. time restrictions, that's, you know, sets yep. a whole different level to them. Yeah. Yep, yeah. We were at church, and real quick, touching on exactly yeah. what you're talking about. There was, uh, they did a segment, and they were talking about uh, what it is in, in the end. It's about accountability. There was uh, a group, they took a group of 10 people that literally were, had heart failure. They were, mm -hmm. had the doctor told them that you had to do this, change your diet, you had to do this, or you're going to die, okay? Then there was another 10 people that they had taken, and they had paired them up in a group setting, okay? And of that first 10, there was only like two, less than two, per, two or three of them that even continued on with mm -hmm. the diet and the regimen, but the group setting, there was somewhere in the neighborhood of eight, yep. eight, eight of them, 10, all did it because of that accountability that you're talking about. Because without it, you know, it's just hard to do by yourself. Exactly. And it tends to show to help and, and connect. Yeah. Sorry about that. But yeah, I think no, it's fine. very important. You're I think fine. that the people that do want to come, yeah. that they there is some accountability. We, it's hard to hold ourselves accountable. Mm -hmm. right. Does you anybody know? have any questions so far? Yeah, I've answered a couple. They want the links in the end, and the oh, show's yeah. great. And, okay. uh, well, I just meant any questions for, yeah, for you, you guys have for questions? you to move over a little bit. <laughs> no, for you to put um, your hands on. No, it said right there. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> no. and I, Thanks, I Billy. Saying, it says right here. Scoot over. Yeah, scoot over. Hi, no. Billy and Jamie. I love you. Okay. Keep talking. We're done. Okay. Go ahead, BK. Um, you, asked, you were gonna say something. I was gonna say one of the secondary benefits of that and setting those actionable goals is right off the the rip of what you were saying is something that even I experienced. We, we come in thinking, well, I need to lose 10 pounds, but mm -hmm. you know, many people that are just starting out, they don't realize that muscle weighs more than fat. So their ultimate goal is not to lose 10 pounds, their, their ultimate goal is to lose 2% yeah. body fat. Mm -hmm. And you know, developing programs based around that, like you can go run on a treadmill for two right. hours and so not, not lose right. a single mm -hmm. you know, percentage of body fat. So being able to partner them with and, and put them in the smart goal uh, stuff, Mm -hmm. It's going to allow them to learn the process, which is going to increase their success so, yep. in the long term because mm -hmm. they're going to go in with limited information based off right. of a YouTube video. Yep, and mm -hmm. a lot of people Absolutely. don't get that. Absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of folks will come in and say, my goal is to lose 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. But in reality, they went to their doctor and they're pre-diabetic. Mm -hmm. And the right. reason they need to lose 30 pounds is because they're they're trying to prevent themselves from you know, moving into, into the diabetic state. Right. Obviously there's, you know, genetic yeah. things that are involved mm -hmm. with, with mm -hmm. diabetes, but you know, the response to them is your goal isn't to lose 30 pounds. Your goal is to get here two days a week. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because if you can get here two days a week, every week, we can get you on that journey. Right. Mm -hmm. So many times the smart goal isn't directly referencing their end goal. Mm -hmm. You know, if their end goal is 30 pounds and their, their short-term smart goal is two days a week. Right. And then maybe after a month, it becomes three days a week. And mm -hmm. then maybe after two months, it becomes four days a week. Mm -hmm. right. That's how we can we, we can help folks through the journey. Mm -hmm. um, our goal being a, a nonprofit mission and cause-driven organization is to build healthy spirit, mind, and body for everybody. Right. And when we were here before, and he talked about what they did and really how they were using physical fitness to change mindset, mm -hmm. I, we, I, we were sitting like over here somewhere and my mind just went, that's exactly what we do. Mm -hmm. We say it a little different, but that's right. exactly what, what we do is we want people to use physical fitness or use sports or aquatics or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever program they're doing at the Y sure. to really help themselves mm -hmm. in all three of those areas. Um, mm -hmm. And that's really what spawned this, this, 
partnership. Sure, and that's awesome because a lot of people aren't in that ignorant, but they're not like you said YouTube. Mm -hmm. They're they're not really up on the, the, the what they need to do to mm -hmm. whether it is like you say the cardio isn't the answer. It's you know, and some people are so in such not bad shape as in overweight, but ailments in their body that they have to get them right before they can even lift a 50 pound dumbbell or mm -hmm. you know and do that yeah. so that's where you know yeah. pairing yeah. them up is a it's a great program it's awesome yeah. well, most important thing you can do is set a routine and i remember when i first got started in, in the fitness realm six seven years ago i would just go up to the the gym and sit on the bike for 20 minutes mm -hmm. i didn't realize i wasn't really getting much out of it right other than i had the mindset of my work day wasn't over until I stopped and got off the gym. Mm -hmm. And after a few weeks, I had that routine set. And I think that's sure. what you're talking about. It's like two days a week. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where you start because you set that routine right. and then you expand on that. Mm -hmm. the most important thing is setting the routine in the beginning. Correct. And, yep. and that's what they say is the habit forming is usually like 30 days, right? That's usually yep. like a marker for it. Yep. So there are a ton of stats out there and Anybody yeah. that's on my team that works for me, there's six key stats, and I cite them like every meeting that we go to. And I think people want to like hit me when I bring them up, but mm -hmm. they're all about you know if you don't work out with a friend, you're right. less likely to continue yeah, to do it. Yeah. If you don't make friends while you're there, you're less yeah. likely to do it. Yeah. If you don't you know meet four people or do it for, you know go to the workout four times within mm -hmm. that first thirty days, you're less likely to continue. Yeah. And those are all the things that we look at from a mission perspective of if our goal is to really help people achieve their goals and right. to build a healthy spirit, mind, and body, mm -hmm. then how do we get them to achieve their goal? Right. It's not just by saying, Correct. join the Y. Yeah. Right. You gotta you gotta come back whenever you get yeah, back. You got the card in your pocket. We've yeah. All, we've all seen that or the people buy the stuff you go buy on recycling day and there's more equipment that's workout related. Yep. We've had them in our garage, you know, yep. that right. if you don't use it, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's not a good thing. So to get the success, you definitely want to set a foundation and, and see that they, yep. you know, if this baby steps or not, but you're right about that. Cause a buddy of mine, when we, I don't know, I, I go in, I'm one of them wave riders, whatever. But anyway, <laughs> meaning I don't care what we do. If we go up and roll around a half hour upstairs in my garage, it's better than us not getting up there. Yep. So eventually you start doing some pushups or whatever your routine is. And I think it is habit. I've yeah. always said that when we raised our kids, if a bad habit is hard to break, imagine what a good habit would be, well, you and, know? And here's, here's, the factual information, right? We all know what to do. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. We all know what to do. Mm -hmm. But then it's the life circumstances that intervene with certain mm -hmm. things, right? Mm -hmm. So, like when the gyms were shut down and nobody could do anything, that right? So mm -hmm. now you're adding that mental, you know, mm -hmm. piece to it. They're like, I can't work out when in all actuality they could do push ups and sit ups yeah. at home, right? The people that but are doing the, it no matter but what. But they right? had yeah. the mental block though, mm -hmm. right? Because they were stuck behind what they can't do right, right. and uh versus what they can do because yeah once the sparks there in any of that once it's there like you said after a certain point you then now is the pressure of not doing something because i'm going to lose it or i'm going to get out of routine or i'm going to see you know my you know whatever it is the flag come back or you know but so somebody once you get involved mm -hmm. um i notice if i go three four days without working out i notice a change sure. in my mentality mm -hmm. absolutely and mm -hmm. it, it's it's very noticeable mm -hmm. um but i think and this is where the time of year that we're doing this right now i know a lot of people probably set new year's resolutions yeah. well tomorrow's the 21st right we're, we're in that three week window right. i mm -hmm. i encourage everybody if you set that mm -hmm. new year's resolution give it another week Right. Yeah. It's and on that too, there's other you know, and everybody's gotta study or whatever you've heard, but I, you're right about that. They set a New Year's goal, which is what is that? But if they say too is a where if you started on a Monday, whatever it is, quitting smoking or whatever you're gonna try to do, starting on a Monday, you'll have better success. Or some people say then if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. Because you're yeah. right, if you don't hold yourself accountable or we all know what to do, you know, we gotta do it. How many people out there have said, I'll start next yeah, Monday? Yeah, exactly. And yeah. how many times have they said that? Right. You know, like, um, do we have any viewers who are watching right now who um, have set that resolution? If you guys have set the res resolution, let us know. Um, if there's any of you who are thinking about it and need those resources, right? That's why these guys are here, right? So between the two of them, which we haven't got to that piece yet, but between the two of them, they can help you connect um, and yeah. get the resources that you need. 
for a healthier mind and body. Absolutely. So yep. We yeah, got we are we are, we are international. We need to say hello to Alan in France. Hello, Alan. Hi, hey, Alan. 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 I don't know how to, I don't know any French, so. Any um, French, 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 French fries? Buongiorno. French toast? Buongiorno. Yeah. Hola. No. no. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> Oopa. Wrong country. Wrong country. Wrong country. Oopa. Hey, uh, no. French fries. You know. No, stop yeah. it. Well, Thank you yeah. for viewing, right? Oui, oui. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, that you? I don't remember who, who said, I, I think That's it was good. you, that it was like, your work day didn't end until yeah. you worked out. I was over at the, the Wayman Palmer YMCA today, which is, Center City in Toledo, and we were there for a meeting. And this lady walks in, and she goes, and she starts working out. And I said to Eric, our director there, "Who is that lady?" Because she was all just kind of like not looking at anybody. And he's like, "Well, she's a first responder. Mm -hmm. She comes in every morning after work. She worked out for like eleven minutes. She was done. Right. She's leaving." I said, that "Everything okay?" And she goes, "It was a long night, but I can't go home till I work out at least yep. a little bit." Right. It was, yep. she had to come in right. and do something mm -hmm. for her physical fitness, right. her up in her hip, up you know, there, because she, head, needed, yep. she mm -hmm. needed to do that. Even though it, it was only a short period of time, she right. made sure that on her way home, mm -hmm. she came, she, she hit that box, did that a little day. bit, yep. kept herself Good. in that Help habit. Help herself accountable, all them things. It, yeah, it, exactly. Important. And mm -hmm. you, know, you mentioned, you know, smoking and, mm -hmm. and whatnot. Physical fitness checks so many boxes yep. when you're trying to change something in your life. Absolutely. People don't realize that smoking is a habit. Mm -hmm. And if you can replace the bad habit with a good habit, yep. physical fitness, mm -hmm. that can help you overcome that. Eating is a habit. If you can replace mm -hmm. the bad habit with a good habit, right. which is physical fitness, you can overcome things. Alcoholism and drug addiction, they are habits. Mm -hmm. If you can... I'm, I'm not saying that if you work out, you will overcome everything. No, but, but it, it but definitely if you can, helps. Absolutely. Yeah, if you can yes. use that to be a tool in that journey yep. and replace that habit of the puff becomes the, mm -hmm. you know, the, the ski push, machine the or push. whatever or the push-up. Yeah. And then, it counterbalances that, too, because now you know you don't want to, right? Correct. So, and, so how many people have, and so since the last we've seen you and you guys partnered up, has there, let's hear some stories like on what you maybe a person you've signed up or how many okay. or what, what, um, what do you got? What, so I want to start, as, as I can mention, it's funny you mentioned the, the smoking. So I was a pack plus a That's day right. smoker right. for like right. 16 years. Mm -hmm. uh, February 1st, I'll be four years nicotine free. Sweet. And largely because- Nicotine free, that's the yes, thing too. Uh, yeah. Largely because the community that I had built and the gym that I started out in, mm -hmm. uh, they reminded me almost on a daily basis right. how ironic it was that I was going in there and killing myself and then sure. everybody leaving the gym mm -hmm. and coming into the gym would see me walking home and I'm sitting there smoking, smoking cigarette, cigarette after right. cigarette and they're yeah. like, what are you doing? Right. I was like, you know, you, you make a lot of mm -hmm. sense. It, it's true. So, yeah. Well, that's um, good for you. That's a tough one. Mm -hmm. People don't realize nicotine itself is how, how, how bad it is. Yeah. I despise smoking, so I, but I get it. I'm glad. Good for you. Oh. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so we know what you do. We know what you do. Mm -hmm. We had you on a previous podcast. What magical things happened? I'll Can let we you do it? Yeah, okay. go, go for it. Yeah, so, so, we both asked you now. Let's hear it. First of all, I, I still to this day think some way you set it up to get us both here on the same day. I did. But, you know, kind of as we went through that last podcast, the alarm bell started going off. Like like I mentioned that we're, we're at the Y, healthy spirit, mind, and body for all, and He's looking at physical fitness to help, you know, mental health, health of veterans was really what, what can we do? What, what can we do to help each other? And, um, so from there, you know, we had a, we had a few calls. I got some of my staff together and, um, you know, we talked about this at dinner before we came here, you know, it was kind of my, my personal view on this was it's like a three-legged stool. Mm -hmm. We needed multiple things to make this work. And the first thing was, was how do we, we make it so he can serve more people? Yep. You know, knowing that some of the folks that are coming to him are gonna to wanna to come to the Y, right. how can we help him serve more folks? And that was through a pricing arrangement that's gonna allow him to send twice as many people Sweet. to get into the Y awesome. as, as they would. Right. Um, the second part of that is then, how can we then keep them involved? So by him sending twice as many people to me, allows our staff to be able to help twice as many people mm -hmm. and keep twice as many people going sure. in, in that process. 
Um, there's some other organizations out there, as he mentioned, and I'll let him talk about it a little bit more, but that, you know, maybe some places donating two free memberships to them, and mm -hmm. that's the relationship. Well, mm -hmm. I would rather let him send 50 people at the reduced rate mm -hmm. and let us help 50 people than right. say, here's two freebies. Sure. And that's, and they're gonna, that's gonna come back too, because that's gonna be word of mouth and then, mm -hmm. you know, the, oh, yeah. the, the health marketing and everything. So yeah. that's awesome. That's yeah. good. And, and, that inspired you, huh? That inspired you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. gonna work now. Look at that bet. So uh, the, uh, the, the preferential pricing program that we worked out, it, it's not just one gym. Like we now had 10 mm -hmm. in, right. in the Toledo area, Northwest Ohio, Southeast Michigan. Mm -hmm. um, to where, and I encourage any veterans out there today that want to start their fitness journey, tf20.org, apply for benefits, enter in your information. We can get you started today. Um, so the preferential pricing program that we have worked out, yes, we can help twice as many people. However, it also gives us enough of a buffer mm -hmm. in what, it, you know, we have a $500 per year cap preferential pricing allows us to also pay for personal training in the gym so when you get started you can go through the smart program they pair you with a personal trainer so you're not going into it blind like well i'm just right. going to go you know sit on the right. bike for 10 walk, minutes walk, walk around aimlessly right yeah, do yeah. some flies yeah. uh no nice. we're going to partner you mm -hmm. with a personal trainer right. so you learn what you're doing and that's going to set you up for long-term success right. mm -hmm. so I, I cannot thank the YMCA, Greater Toledo, DJ, his staff, everybody that had a hand in this. Jane, you know, yeah, right. everybody. Mm -hmm. um, God, God, God. Yeah. Oh, the big guy upstairs. <laughs> you know. I was explaining uh, your program to a friend of mine, and I was saying that how it, it the first thing you do is is that you profile the individual so yep. that you know geographically because it wasn't like well they live in Maumee to the yeah. 10 locations and we they want to go to Alexis and wherever. Mm -hmm. right. Now you have that geographical broadness, I guess, of it, you know, that you really helps you now help them veterans yep. because you can go, well, here you are and you don't have to go to Spring Meadow or wherever. You can, yeah. Because yeah, I think that was your first thing in your when you told us that it isn't like you're just working with this one gym, mm -hmm. that now you can't get them, they can't get here because of Point Place and they're travel and kids and all this now that helps it has to help you a lot but when we were in the the formation process of the organization you know we took a look at that model you know the, the problem was if we're working with the gyms mm -hmm. not everybody wants to drive 30 That's miles right. to That's the gym said, and if yeah. you're outside the geographic mm -hmm. area right we have to leave them out correct so our business model allows us to help veterans in nebraska which we have in mm -hmm. Seattle, Washington, right. which we have. So mm -hmm. yes, we are right here in Northwest Ohio, mm -hmm. but we can help veterans anywhere. And these type of partnerships, you know, if somebody reaches out to us and they don't already have a gym in mind, we're able to say, do you, are, how close are you to the YMCA right. or Maumee or Waterville or Monroe? Right. Right. And hey, we have a partnership with them. Go check them out. If you like what you see, sign up, we get you in today. Right. Mm -hmm. And then how many uh, Ys are in the United States? Did I ask so you there that? are 2,700 yeah. YMCA associations that Good. serve 10,000 communities. You know your numbers. Yeah. Good. So, <laughs> so there's been other that's guests. Like that's, well, we've right. had other guests that I've asked certain things that we had to Google it. Which is great. Now you know. I don't remember I all the facts, but I know. No, no, it's good to know, though. You could even make them up and we wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you're not, you're somebody would Google yeah, yeah. fact no, check, right? You would, yeah. But your box is about to. No, like, you might fact, we, we fact check the fact I texted check. it when I was coming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but one of the important things when we set up the agreement was knowing that what the right thing for the veteran is to put them in the right place. Yeah. We didn't want to propose something to Jason and the organization that said, in order for you to get this rate, you have to be exclusive to the Y. No. We know that there are people that, you know, just want to get on a treadmill or an elliptical mm -hmm. at the nearest location. They don't need childcare. They don't need a swimming pool. They don't need all the other stuff. They right. just need a treadmill or an elliptical or some free weights. And it's better for him to send them somewhere else than it is to send them to us. And we didn't want to hamstring them to mm -hmm. say, only come to the Y. Right. You know, we are a community organization and it would not be responsible to tell another community organization mm -hmm. you can't use 
other places no, in your community. No, no, right? we know that, that, right. that just didn't make that just didn't make sense. Yeah. But the the third leg of, of what we did for them was our CEO um, was nice enough. To, he wrote a letter so that Jason can then use that at any YMC in the country. The other twenty seven hundred associations. Right. There you go. Wow. This is what we're doing in Toledo. That's what I was getting at, right? Duplicate it. That helps. Yeah. Yep. We can't that make them duplicate it because they're all no. run independently. Sure. But, but it, it but applies name, a little pressure. Though. His name carries a little bit of weight. That's right. It, it carries a lot more weight that, than mine. Sure. <laughs> um, and it applies pressure in the fact that, you know, yeah. the yeah. water's warm. Now let's get in. And why wouldn't we want to? So I, that's good. Exactly. It, and, it, and it also gives them a footprint right. to, to our folks. So mm -hmm. we send an email to all 21,000 member units announcing the partnership. Mm. You know, the hope in that isn't that people start saying, oh, the Y is doing great things, but hopefully some people clicked on that link and learned mm -hmm. about Task Force 20. Mm -hmm. We added a hero opportunities section to our website, which lists them on it now. Right. So, so if we have first responders or military folks, yeah. hopefully they're clicking on that and they can, and they can see it. Mm -hmm. And go to that, that. We don't say anything about if you want a free membership, click this button and apply mm -hmm. so that right. you know you can get a cheaper membership and funnel the money to us. It's mm -hmm. just this is a partner organization. Right. Click here to learn more. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's and what we want. For us, it shows that a legitimate organization that's been around for decades and oh, decades. Man. Substance, has, buddy. Has, Substance. You know, they're not going to sign on to this without doing the proper amount of vetting mm -hmm. into our organization to show that we are legitimate in what we do and what we provide. So it like it, it mutually benefited both of us, mm -hmm. uh, both of our organizations, and really allows us to maximize. Now all we need need is for people to go and say, I want to get started. Right. Mm -hmm. Or I want to donate money. But yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> that. Yeah. Um, yes, right. we can't do what we do without money. And sure. You yeah. didn't have a veteran component. Not that it's necessarily a veteran component, but you didn't have a veteran component, right? You know, so we do we we, we did before Jason, we did some stuff with veterans. So we, we participated oh, in the right. YMCA yep. of the USA mm -hmm. Department of Defense Armed Services, yeah. Yeah. where the DOD mm -hmm. buys memberships for families. Mm -hmm. And we have a hero discount, it's 15% off, first responders, mm -hmm. military reserve, you know, all, mm -hmm. all those groups. We have sure. a postal inspector that right. signed yeah, up. Right. You know, if, if you're serving, right. we want to help you. Mm -hmm. But one of my goals since I've been there has been how do we get deeper into that, in, into that community? And then when we were sitting at this table, that was like, okay, mm -hmm. this is this is the step to get into that. Right. Um, we talked a lot about when we, we came out right on Monday, in, yeah. trust. Yeah. You know, we know that veterans don't necessarily look at the why and think this is a trusted veteran organization right. because we're not mm -hmm. a veteran exclusive organization. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. We're for all. Mm -hmm. We want veterans and, and, and military and first responders to be part of this, but we have to build that trust by being part of other organizations that yeah. are doing great things in the community. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so critical for so. There's the obviously the, the mental health, the, mm -hmm. the fitness component, right? But then there's the civilian integration, yep. right? That is a key component to what we do, right? Because I will say every single veteran that I have come in contact with talks about how awful the civilian integration is, right? Absolutely. And it is a key component to what we do with our community organizations as well, mm -hmm. right? Is that um, they trust me, and if I'm gonna partner with somebody, they're going to trust you, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're going to know that I've done my homework because I'm not going to allow anybody else, you know, to right. come into this little circle mm -hmm. if that's not safe, right? And, and I was, to piggyback <laughs> off what you're saying, I was going to say this earlier when you were talking about last Saturday, um, the reason something like that is going to work is in the veteran community, the fastest way to get found out is to not be raw and authentic and be true to what you're saying like veterans are very attuned to that situational awareness all that kind of stuff and as soon as you give the impression that it's not about helping vets you're going to get hammered every single time mm -hmm. so being able to you know put together what you're putting together as far as the coalition mm -hmm. is going to allow mm -hmm. uh entities that are civilian based mm -hmm. to trust you know the the operation so. it's it's just going to be so like I didn't know this back side of it, right? So I knew that I got some emails and text messages from you guys afterwards mm -hmm. thanking me and I was super happy you yeah. connected and, but I had no idea. That is amazing. Yeah. I am, so, 
thank you so much from a veteran, thank you. right? Thank, thank you so you. much for um, this is this is nothing compared to the sacrifice you two make for our country and everybody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Giving some discounted memberships and having some even evening conference calls to accommodate his, you know, his schedule. That's nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what you did in trusting him and his mm -hmm. organization yeah. is monumental. You sure. put his organization next to a staple yep. that's right. national, right? That's a big deal. Mm -hmm. That's a very big deal, right? Yeah. It's, you know, like one of my community partnerships with um, uh, Habitat. Right, we're a recipient of tithing from them. Right. Okay, that doesn't just happen for everybody, yeah. right? That, that's a relationship, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And now we're moving forward and building some relationships with you yep. as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and no, it is because uh, when you say that, like there's other names of when you uh, that are uh, national uh, health clubs, mm -hmm. right. you know, without mentioning any names, mm -hmm. right. but when you take the YMCA, because they're not just, and some people, yeah. some people, uh, you, we know them up, you know, to classify the muscle head, but the guy that wants to do the free weights and that's all he is, is our, mm -hmm. you know, that intimidates the other people yeah. that not necessarily that do want to go, whether they're veteran or not, because they don't want to be around that. Mm -hmm. But the Y is more, just has a lot more to offer yeah. than uh, something fitness or any of these other places I get it everybody has their niche and to each their own and you but when you said staple it is it is the truth man habitat habitat yeah. home Depot places like that they're 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 you know why it's a big, big a, deal really it's such it a big deal mm -hmm. you know for organizations like Jason's and mine yeah right? and it shows that the water's fine and I told Jamie this when she uh I forget I remember like well I remember a lot of things but when she was upset about uh, the situation that went down, and I said, this is what you do, and she just went deep into it for three or four days in the bedroom and didn't come out, and here we are today doing what we're doing, that once they see the water spine, they start coming and coming, and it just gets bigger yeah, because they your see... And it too, is, right? yes. it's your uh, reputation, too, Let's be honest. That there's a lot of organizations, not even just veteran organizations, mm -hmm. there's a lot of organizations out there that aren't legit, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and that hurts. Oh yeah, everybody. Blessing. Task right. Force Twenty, absolutely. Uh, you know the grassroots yeah. organizations. Yeah. We have the major players mm -hmm. that do the vetting, that look into, make sure right. our paperwork is in line. When they mm -hmm. sign on, mm -hmm. I mean they're not That's just big. signing yeah. on with Joe Schmo down the road. Right. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Well, we've seen that too after the 9/11 and just some of the numbers yeah. that come out. And again, not to mention names, a lot of us got aware of, you know, and then the uh, whole C. I don't know the the, the C-104, or the paperwork you yeah. got to fill out for a yeah. nonprofit. 501 501c3. Oh, yeah. Right, how all that, you know, yeah. so many people abuse that and different things because, you know, as soon as they say it's a nonprofit, just that stigma, you know, it takes a lot to, yeah. to get people to trust you, mm -hmm. to to w welcome you in and stuff. So by community, it, it okay. definitely helps. And so, and the veteran community knows too, right? It's, you know, remembering where we're staying focused at, right, in the veteran community. It is its own identity <laughs> anyways, mm -hmm. right? And so I'll speak for me trying to um, get the word out of what we do. And I'm a veteran, right? Yeah. And so when I, when I first launched the Little Blessings, right, I would go to events and go, hey, this is what we're doing. That didn't make a difference, mm -hmm. right? Veterans did not care, right? Yeah. And it's really, we are a word of mouth organization, right? And that's exactly how the veterans come to us or the families come mm -hmm. to us, right? And that's why this Warrior Spotlight is so critical because we can reach thousands of people, right? And so, oh, I want to make sure that I tell you, so it's posted on, I'll have all the links because I always forget to do this. I've seen some <laughs> guy and he'll show you it yesterday. Um, we'll have all the links, but go out to our Warrior um, Spotlight YouTube page and subscribe. Um, yes. that, that's a very big deal. So. Um, follow us here and subscribe on the YouTube. The only thing more important to a nonprofit than you know the financial revenue itself is the word of mouth mm -hmm. and spreading the awareness. So, you know, following your page is absolutely important. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, granted, you'd like to have money, but if nobody knows about it, right, you're never gonna <laughs> yeah. know. like, share, and subscribe. Like, mm -hmm. share, and yes. subscribe. Yes, because yes. <laughs> next year we want to be monetized. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Touche. No. Yeah. Well, New Year's resolution. Yeah.
right? Um, New Year's goal. New Year's goal, right? It's a smart goal. It's a smart goal. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Next <laughs> week, I'm, we're going to be in our own studio. Yeah. There you go. Okay, you I like it. it. Yeah, I so like it. She's yeah. going upstairs, and I'll be right behind her, <laughs> all the way. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, anyways, I am, I am like so stoked. Me yeah, too. I this. just, I'm right. so just, happy, so proud of you guys. Just, you know, we know it's way above bigger than us. Right. Yeah. yeah. And literally, yeah. honestly, it was I double booked mm -hmm. and forgot right. I double booked. Right. Yeah, I would have planned the whole time. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, we gave her plenty of ideas. No, I asked her straight no. up, and she said no. I love the I fact did. that it wasn't. I told it. multiple people that she set it up on purpose. Yeah. Well, you, I could see where you thought that. <laughs> yeah. Was, because just no, the way we would have kind of, the three of us would have kind of, okay, yeah. why? We want to get up there, get up to the table. No, yeah. I could see her if that's how you truly yeah. felt. Yeah. Yeah. Because I asked her twice. I, I thought for sure when I left her, I went home. You thought we gave her I went home to my significant you know, other and I said, there, she huh? set me up for this. Yeah. But it's really cool. Now we got to do this. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now, yeah. now you're going to be a reoccurring. And then, we're and then she's up. nudging me. Hey, yeah. we're not going on vacation this year. You need to give him some money. She did? Yeah. And oh, she's oh, twisting my arm to give him money. Thank you. That's amazing. Yeah. Who, your wife? We, we, got girlfriend, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. we got yeah. something better than money. Yeah. 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 Multi year agreement. Yeah. yeah. Friendship, all the yeah. stuff that's going And, and then there's yeah. some plans down the line. We, we, we hooked him up uh, one evening with our marketing director mm -hmm. who, you know, said, hey, these are some long term things we can do. Mm -hmm. You know, COVID has been tough on a lot of places. Absolutely. Sure. Yep. And as much as important as this is, a lot of our marketing focus is on survival at this mm -hmm. point letting right. people know that our facilities are safe and clean yeah so yeah. that folks will come in because we need to survive so yeah. that we can continue yeah. to support him yeah. Yeah. so some of this is okay we did a few things initially let's kick this off the ground mm -hmm. but then hopefully as we go through you know 2021 2022 mm -hmm. and we get farther away from this pandemic mm -hmm. and we can pay more attention to non-survival things mm -hmm. i mean right. that's a reality for a lot of people right. a lot of people laid off they're just trying to survive mm -hmm. Right. As an organization, all organizations are yeah. trying to do that. Yeah, everybody so there's does. there's some thoughts down the line. How can we do more of this? Mm -hmm. um, the YMCA has a whole, say there's 270 associations. One of those associations is based out of Washington, D.C. It's the YMCA Armed Services. Um, its CEO is a retired admiral. Most of their staff are retired military. Mm -hmm. And they run YMCAs around the country that are 100% dedicated to serving active duty military on or near military bases. So Anchorage, Alaska, and mm -hmm. all over the country. So this then becomes a springboard of how can we work closer with them, mm -hmm. who their mission 100% right. is, is veterans and active duty military, mm -hmm. is how can we work closer to, with them to develop other programs. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's where we brought people to see you at the farm. Mm -hmm. I knew I couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. With, mm -hmm. with with yours, but mm -hmm. we have the local branch in Temperance, we have camp, you know, mm -hmm. how can we right how can we tie those things together mm -hmm. in a in, in a way that is mutually beneficial sure. for everybody yeah. as well. And looking at this the coalition, right? Because I'm just like I am I'm so mind blown. Like so many amazing things have happened <laughs> already, right? And uh, but the people who sat in that room, right? The access to veterans that he will have, that I will have, that these organizations will have, that you will have as family members, right? It, it is just gonna be astounding mm -hmm. once this really gets rolling, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're all gonna say, go see Jason, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Jason sent me a text message yes, the other morning, and said, hey, there's a situation, send it right to me, right? Yep. And within 30 minutes, I was back to him with a response, right? Mm -hmm. And. Uh, yeah, I, I'm so excited about this. Yeah, and yeah. when people see that, then too, like, then they tend to want to spend their money or their resources or time with people because they know that they're helping us out or you out or what. Mm -hmm. So then, well, hey, I know that the wise here, you know, so it's, it's what it's all about, too. You know, networking. And At the end of the day, it's the right thing to do. It, 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 yeah, mm -hmm. but some people, there, right. there are mm -hmm. very few people, and I don't know what the exact percentage is, and you might, very few people in this country volunteer to serve, mm -hmm. right? It's one hundred percent. Yeah, the, they're volunteering. You know, no matter what your political beliefs are yeah. or right. anything, you're volunteering to, to serve and defend mm -hmm. what we believe in, right? As Americans, and, yeah. and that needs to be respected and, and thanked and 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 moved forward. Mm -hmm. And that's why I say that the work we're doing. 
for veterans is is nothing compared to the work that veterans right. do, do for us. Mm -hmm. Thank you for um, recognizing that. Yeah, it's just, you, you know. But a lot of people do take that for granted. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, and, and, and first responders first as well. Right. Obviously, yeah. this was a, a tragic week in Toledo, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you look at it, it's been a rough go for six months mm -hmm. for in this city alone, but, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know how what the percentage of, you know, the population that serve as police officers, mm -hmm. but I was talking with a coworker the other day who said one of their close friends is a police officer, and it's like, you know, there's a push not to do it mm -hmm. because of all the negative, mm -hmm. right? But people continue to choose to do this, mm -hmm. to run towards danger and protect us, yep. right? And it's my personal belief that it's it's part of my role as a civilian to thank and support them in that in that process and mm -hmm. right. um, this is my little little way to do it sure. by supporting people that are doing it in a much mm -hmm. bigger way than I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which are you two. Yeah. And you right. for being yeah no absolutely it's you know, a, part of the family. A lot of people take it's crazy what we take for granted. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to that you're right because when you said that our neighbor boy uh, that went to school with our daughters was in the graduating class of the gentleman that was uh shot this past uh, weekend or what, was in that last grip, the 15 year, the year 2015 when he was signed, whatever went on, uh, Jimmy's brother. Yeah. And uh, yeah, which is crazy, you know. Um, I do want to give a plug out um, for our We've Gotten Your Six campaign. So if you've not checked it out, go out to Little Blessings um, and all the website and information is going to be posted here in a minute. but. For $6 a month or more, you can donate uh, to our organization, and it does a wide variety of things um, for us. So that, that's just one more way to show sustainability with us with a, a, a simple $6 a month donation mm -hmm. from them, right? So you guys, thank you so yeah. much. Yes. Can, I, can I do some shameless plugs? Oh, sure. please, Absolutely. yes, and please, <laughs> I, do okay. them all. I'll, leave, I'll let him do the shameless plug. Okay, yeah. go, yes. Um, so to piggyback off, you know, raising money for little blessings uh, on June 27th, uh, this coming June, six months from now, we have the Stronger Together 5K and Veteran Resource Event. And the reason I bring up Little Blessings is the way we have it organized. This is a 5K race, but attached to it is going to be a resource event where other veteran center nonprofits, so very much like your coalition, mm -hmm. um, we have invited veteran-centric nonprofits to come be a part of the resource event. Veteran nonprofits that sign on to it, we provide them a link. So, um, Little Blessings is one of our co sponsored uh, veteran nonprofits. So, if anybody wants to sign up for the 5K race in June, if they want to also support Little Blessings, we can provide them a link to do so where 20% of the race registration fees is going to be donated to Little Blessings. And that's organizations don't do that. Mm -hmm. Right. They're like, it's my pot of gold, it's my mm -hmm. pot of gold. And it is, it is and I cannot be more, I am telling you, I am so excited. And, we, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and that's why we named it what we did with the Stronger Together, mm -hmm. and it all fits right. in with the co coalition. Like, mm -hmm. we make no bones about the fact that not everybody wants to pick up heavy things and put right. it back yeah, down. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. But, very much like the, the surprise message I got where, you know, hey, you're the first person I thought of. Can do you know where I can find help mm -hmm. if I don't know about little blessings mm -hmm. right. and somebody reaches out to me mm -hmm. I don't I, sorry I can't help you and yeah. who knows yeah what right yeah. we almost, yeah. we yeah. almost yeah. got to get that as part of our uh, plug or something or one of our shirts was is that it ain't what you know it's who you know because right. we say that more than mm -hmm. than not because right. of the whole right. mentality yeah. and Jamie's right you know because a lot of people when they do fundraising we get it there's a lot of competition for dollars out there you know and there's only so much money to go around mm -hmm. so but uh when you do partner and you you know the community and just work together it, it is a lot it is just a lot better you know and it was yeah. i mean the energy in that room oh it, it was a lot of fun i, I, I wouldn't have kind of like yeah, yeah what's this gonna be yeah, yeah. Right. i know and sam the guy in the end from the um ambets i mean okay. he, he is such an incredible guy and he's like jamie this is what I've tried to do for the longest time. This is what's been missing. And uh, these guys have been amazing mentors to me on the outside as well. And I'm grateful to know them as part of the community. And yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. um, 
But yeah, June 27th, the Stronger Together 5K and Resource event. You can find us on Facebook. Again, if you want to sign up for it, it's uh, $25. Uh, if you want to support also Little Blessings, um, we can provide you a link to where you sign up. And on the back end, we can tell how many people use that link. 20% of those res uh, registrations are going to go to Little Blessings to help support what they do as well. Um, and today and every other 20th of the month, if you want to also support Task Force 20, 20% 20, uh, 20 off all product and apparel at TFT0.org. Oh, so nice. AJ Winkler, uh -huh. he said he can't wait to the 5K. I, yeah. I'd, I'd love AJ, to have right? them yeah. Um, yeah. with Vet Connect. Yeah. 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 That conversation. Yeah. So yeah. I love what they do. Yep. Um, yeah, he was, he was, oh, he was, I'm so he's our, sorry. He's our that Con was a piece that I missed. He's our Conor McGregor lookalike. <laughs> so I, I apologize. So what are you going to do about it, right? I apologize very much so, um, AJ, and Racing for Recovery, if yep. I did not say them, right? So Vet Connect with Racing with Recovery was there as well as part of the mm -hmm. coalition. Right. It was so the, I knew I was missing one, dang it. Thank it, you for telling me that. I, I'm going to piggyback off the amp bed. Like, I, the, a lot of places have tried to put something like that together, and it's never come to fruition and when I walked in and saw how many entities were there from legacy organizations like the, the VFW and the DAV mm -hmm. to you know grassroots organizations like Task Force 20 to you know um, the race for recovery mm -hmm. and, and that aspect I mean it, now that we all know of each other and have those contacts mm -hmm. I mean several people reached out to me to get involved with the mm -hmm. 5k and it right. was it was a really amazing well, day. That's what you said, what you know, who you know, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's a good thing, it really is. Well, we thank you guys so much. We look forward to all the amazing things that's going to happen mm -hmm. in our future and working together and all the great things that. Yeah, yeah, we might have to have you like two times a year, huh? Quarterly, <laughs> quarterly, quarterly yeah. updates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm all about it. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. 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 yeah, talking about what we're doing. Yeah. Well, good night, everybody, and you guys have a blessed week, and we will see you next week.